everyone, Comic Book Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the Disney film, Bedtime Stories. Now, as you know, Bedtime Stories is a 2008 fantasy comedy film that was directed by Adam Shankham, as well as having Adam, Sand Adam Sandler and his team, Happy Mansion Productions, work with Disney to give a kind of more slice of life like story. Now the premise of the film is meant to follow Adam Sandler playing Skeeter Bronson who is kind of the handyman for this fancy hotel that originally started off with his father's business until being purchased by Barry Nottingham and throughout it we kind of see how Ski is kind of like the box man to the kind of story, how he feels underappreciated. He's a guy who does try to do the right things. And we kind of see how he's asked by his sister Wendy to look after her two kids. And I would say the point of the two kids are meant to be a bit like having their own routines and sticking with it. And you can kind of tell Skeeter tries to get them away from it. And over the course of the film, we see them telling their own bedtime stories. And I think the point of the bedtime stories are meant to be Skeeter's way of putting himself and other people in his sort of stories. And I think that's kind of re relatable because I think the point about writing, you want to sort of make a character that kind of inspires from what you've been through. As when I actually did my own writing on fan fiction, when I actually, when I actually kind of wrote one of my characters having a difficult relationship with their potential grandfather, I kind of based that a lot with my own grandfather, and it's kind of like working on, say, on, say, Spider-Man, it's more like trying to be there for your parent and all that, and you can kind of tell at the same time the Skeeter's stories do come true, and they do play a crucial part to how they be. And we kind of see how Skeeter as well has to deal with the kind of guy he's competing with for, for the hotel position, Candle. I would say Candle is like a dark counterpart to Skeeter. Like he's a bit more ambitious, greedy, conniving, and has no concern for anyone. And when Skeeter does learn where the ho new hotel is going to be... We actually do see the sort of redemption story work because the point about doing a redemption story, you want your characters to realise the mistake, question their actions, and at the same time, realise their own mistakes. And here, I think they actually do it well. And I would say, surprising enough, I think, think it's kind of implied that Skeeter's dad who's meant to be the narrator, is trying to help his son get back into restarting the hotel and helping him find his own happiness in life. And I think the relationship between him and also his sister's friend Jill does feel a little enforced, but again we do see time for them to kind of get to know each other to some degree. And I would say to me, Bedtime Stories is an okay film. Again, it's not going to go the distance. It does show that, yeah, you do kind of have some characters setting things right on some characters that do get their dis desserts. So I think Bedtime Stories still deserves a thumbs in the middle. It's alright, not the best. But, again, it's Adam Sandler just doing something different and something new with Disney and just taking a break from the more adult stuff. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.